Students Union declares school bond on July 25th in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Delhi University BTEC allocation come admission schedule 2023 released. Delhi University admissions 2023 phase 1 and phase 2 registrations deadline extended till July 26th. Puducherry cabinet decides to give government school students 10% quota in UGC medical course. Himachal candidates protest over pending results of HPSSC exams. Canopy of school building collapse in Bivanti. No one hurts. Good afternoon and welcome. You're watching Education News Network, where you get to watch the latest developments in education at the top of this hour. This is Balaji reporting from ENN and the daily stories are The leaders of the Students Union have declared an educational institution bond on Tuesday, July 25th in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. The leaders of the All India Students Federation and the CPI announced the bond. The leaders also stated that all the problems of the students will be solved tomorrow. The local reporters have stated that all the educational institutions in several regions across the state will be closed. According to a report, the students' union are protesting against several irregularities in the education sectors and want the government to decide the matter. According to the report, the bond has been organized due to several factors that have affected the lives of the students. The union leaders have demanded the basic facilities in the hostel to be improved and the mess charges to be decreased. In addition to this, they have also asked the government to fill the vacant post of the wardens, cooks and watchmen in the hostels. The application correction process will be available from July 26 to July 28. The preferences will be auto-locked by July 28. The first seat allocation list will be released on August 2nd. Under the category, OBC, NCL and EWS candidates will have to report to the Faculty of Technology for physical verification of documents between August 3rd to August 4th. SC and ST candidates who have to report to the Faculty of Technology for physical verification of documents from August 7th to 8th. PWBD, CW, KM, orphan and single girl child candidates have to report for the FOT for physical verification of documents on August 9th. The last date for payment of the admission fee is August 10th. The second seat allotment list will be released on August 14th at 5 pm. The university advises students to keep regularly saving their preferences because the CSAS site will automatically lock the previously saved preferences on July 27th at 5 pm. In the correction window, candidates can edit or modify only the fields according to the registration fee equal to or less than the already paid by the applicant. Candidates update their profiles and re-upload their updated documents and preferences reads the official notification. Accordingly, candidates won't be able to submit applications for the ECA and sports super memory quotas during the correction window. Only their certificate will be able to be re-uploaded for these extra quotas. The schedule for the announcement of the simulated ranks and the allocation rounds will be remain the same. According to the Delhi University notice, no more extensions will be given. The N. Rangasamy dispensation year has decided to give a 10% horizontal reservation to the students of government schools for admissions to the undergraduate medical courses in the Union Territory. A cabinet meeting held on Monday under the chairmanship of Chief Minister N. Rangaswamy decided to introduce the 10% seat horizontal reservation for the students of the government schools. Later, Rangaswamy told reporters that formal approval of the Lieutenant Governor has been sought in the matter. There have been demands from various quarters that the government introduce a 10% horizontal reservation in medical education for the benefit of the students passing out the government schools here. The AIA DMK presented a memorandum to the Chief Minister recently seeking the horizontal reservation for the benefit of the students in the rural areas and also from the poor sections of the society. Several job aspirants Monday stacked a protest in front of the Secretary Chair demanding the result or declaration of the exams conducted by the now disbanded State Staff Selection Commission at the earliest. The state government on February 21st dissolved the Himachal Pradesh Staff Selection Commission located in Amirpur after the paper leak scam for the recruitment of the junior office assistant was leaked on December 23rd last year. The extensions for several posts slated to be conducted by the HPSSC could not be held as the commission was dissolved and results of several exams held earlier are yet to be declared as the Vigilance Bureau is investigating examinations held in the past three years. 
During Monday protests, the candidates demanded immediate declaration of the pending results of the exams held by the HPSSC. The protest urged that even if the vigilance department is probing the process of examination, the results should be announced and the selected candidates be given conditional joining so that mean anybody who is found guilty in indulging the malpractice of getting their job could be terminated later. Chief Minister Sukhwinder Singh Sukhu on several occasions had said the government was making all-out efforts to declare the pending results of the HP SSC exams. The canopy of a school in Vivendi in Thane district collapsed on Monday, though no one was hurt in the incident, a civic official said. Chief of the Disaster Management Cell of Vivendi, Mizampur, Chief of the Disaster Management Cell of Vivendi, Nizampur, Municipal Corporation Faisal Tatli told PTI the front canopy of 25-year-old Urdu Medium School building collapsed at 1.15 pm. No one was injured in the incident. The structure had been declared dangerous and the notice had been issued by the BNMC. Students were not present when the incident took place, he said. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, to log on to our website, theenn.com. And do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.